why slider sequence matters in En-ROADS. Here's why it matters. We often look to the temperature reduction from moving the slider to assess its effectiveness as a policy. However, the order in which you input these sliders, where it is in a sequence, affects how much temperature will go down. So be wary and be mindful. Have I already done things to change the system before I make this slider change? Let me show you what I mean. Let's imagine that you're trying to assess the impact of a $100 a ton carbon price. Here we are with baseline of En-ROADS. We go into carbon price, click under here, type in 100, and then imagine what is it gonna do? I think I run my mental model and then boom, 3.6 goes down to 2.9, a 0 0.7 degree change. Remember that, 0.7 degrees. That's how much it reduces long-term temperature. Okay, now imagine a different way that you could get to this test. Imagine you were talking to people and they suggested some other things first. Someone said, well, what if we were to not build any new coal infrastructure? Stop building coal infrastructure. They make that change. People propose transportation energy efficiency, and energy efficiency in buildings, and you're down here at 2.9. Then someone says, well, what about $100 a ton carbon price? We haven't tested that yet. And incorrectly, you could say, well, I know what that's going to do. 0.7 degrees. I tested it before. 2.9 is going to go down to 2.2. 2.9 down to 2.2. Let's get ready for our 2.9 down to 2.2. And you go in here and you type in $100 a ton. And you get ready to see 2.9 go down to 2.2. Wait, what? 2.6? Only 0.3 degrees? Wait, I thought it was going to give me 0.7. What is up? What you should do to see what is up is go look and see and investigate the marginal contribution of a carbon price on top of no more coal and energy efficiency. The way you would do that is by going and looking at the ways that these actions like a carbon price helps, which is by keeping you from burning coal, oil, and gas. So I'm just going to look at coal and we're going to look at uh Let's look at gas over here, natural gas. And here's where we got to the 2.6, but I'm gonna undo that carbon price. So I'm gonna go undo, back a step. So here's where we were before, was just banning coal, energy efficiency. We were at 2.9. So now we can see, well, we've already eliminated coal and cut significant natural gas. A carbon price on top of this might do more. Let's see. I'm gonna do the redo button. It'll add a carbon price, $100 a ton. And you can see then, by go back, going back and forth, the marginal contribution. And you can see that it helps really in the 2020s and 2030s. That's how we get that 0.3 degrees, is early action. But it's only that marginal contribution because you already did many other things, okay? So be wary of assessing the contribution of any action after doing other slider moves. So what do you do though? If you wanna show, you've done the sequence, here you are, and you wanna show the $100 ton of carbon price on its own. So what you do is you open up another tab and do it on its own. So I often keep one open right here and say, well, we're adding it to all those other policies, but let's try it on its own. And you go back here, and then you put in the $100 a ton, 100, and boom, you can get back and show people that full contribution if we didn't do anything else. So here's the tip. Be mindful of what actions you've already taken when you test any policy. I hope that was helpful. Go get them.